Holy Girl Likes and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, let me back up. This is long hair. Do not care. I'm feeling like it's my birthday already and it's not my birthday. My birthday is not until a couple of days, but I definitely got the luck of the iris because honey, I love these extensions. The only thing is the color and they did have to color match me online. So in, in, my, in my pictures online, it looks as if my hair is a whole lot lighter, especially when I'm outside, it looks a whole lot lighter. Outside, my hair tends to look lighter, natural hair problems. In person, and then like on the camera sometimes, it looks really dark. But this is colored dark brown. It is dark brown, but I feel like it's more so just a little, it's just a lighter, a little lighter shade than mine. Mine, my hair does look kind of dark. And that's an easy fix. I could easily just dye a little bit of the root area for like a, a darker, like a 1B, like a natural color, like a natural black, and then leave the rest light brown. That way it looks like I have some highlights. Cause I do love, I love how the light brown looks, but I feel like if I was to just give it just a little bit of color down here, it would completely match. And then in the back, you know, it would match a little bit more because in the back, you know, it doesn't really match per se, but I could easily tuck some of my hair away and, to, and that'll also take away from some of the thickness up here and make it more thick at the bottom. But I really do love it. I love these extensions. Now, these extensions, two pack, 22 inches. This is pretty good. You guys know I have thick hair. I have a thick Afro type texture hair. So if you have Afro type texture hair, I would definitely always advise you to go with two packs rather than one pack. One pack is not gonna do you as justice. It's definitely gonna look really, really thin on the bottom and then up here is gonna be very top heavy. Now, this is just a perfect amount. This is a perfect amount underneath because my hair is so thick up top that I need the thickness on the bottom. So this is great. Like this is really great. Like this is what I need in order to like match. As you can tell, like there's like a piece right here that's sticking up and I can easily fix that. I do have one more clip that I don't have in my hair. I did it have I did have it up here and I had it tucked in, but it was showing a little bit of my hair right here. So I just took it out. Um, but I, when I do redo it, when I do reapply it, I am going to use this extra piece because honey, I need all the extra hair that I can get. Loving this little switch up. Love how like lightweight it is. It has the potential, it has the potential to get really thick. If I was to brush this bad boy out, I feel like it would be some really thick hair, which is awesome, which is also beautiful. And I could definitely get away with doing a braid out with this type of hair as well. Um, but I love the texture. I love how it feels. It's so soft. Show you guys what the clips look like. So it looks like this. The clips are hella sturdy. Now, me, when I used to make my clip-ins back in the day with my straight hair, I would always go to the hair store and I would pick up the little, uh, I would pick up the little clips, but I feel like the clips were always so thin. They were so, so thin. And it would always give me a hard time and I would always, cause I wash my clip-ins all the time. So whenever I went to go wash it, I feel like it would snag and it would kind of come loose. But these are very, very sturdy, which is an awesome thing. But you also want to be careful. You don't, we want to make sure when you clip them in, you clip them in very comfortable. Because if you don't put it in comfortable, you'll end up getting a headache throughout the end of the day. Because, you know, it's just an extra heaviness. So you want to make sure that when you clip it in, you clip it in good, nice and sturdy to stay. But you don't want to clip it in like too heavy to where the point is going to give you a headache. It's going to give you a headache. I love how it looks. Like, I love how thick it is. This is it from the side. This is just one by itself. That's a lot of hair. That's a lot of thickness. I like the length. I feel like Afro type textured hair, the longer, the longer and the longer you can go, the better and the more volume it's going to give you. These curls are really pretty and it has a lot of potential. Um, I do want to put some product in it, you know, wash it, condition it, put a little bit of product. I'll end up putting leave-in conditioner, no gel. I'm not going to put any gel in this bad boy. I don't want to ruin it. Not saying that it would ruin it because this is human hair, but I just don't want to, uh, you know, just do a whole lot to it. I want to maintain it as much as I can possible. This is some beautiful hair. Like I'm super excited. Like you guys should definitely check it out. Um, it's a little bit on the pricier side. It's like this was these two packs are three hundred and eight dollars um, retail price, but I feel like for hair that's pretty good. Like that's the best you can do, especially for two packs of this twenty two inch and this much volume. This would literally easily cost you a whole a, a wig. I a, a whole wig, a curly wig like this would be an easy three hundred and eighty three hundred and ninety dollars, and that's without tax. So I feel like. You know, for the quality and for, for what you're getting, for the texture, for all of that, I feel like the quality and everything is so worth it. The price is so worth it. It just all depends on how much you're willing to spend on some clippings. But I definitely advise, like, I definitely do think that it's an investment. I definitely think it's an investment. Along with the Dyson, this is an investment. Like, these, 
are popping like super popping i just hate how the color doesn't match necessarily just yet because i was so ready to just dart out it's 70 degrees over here like 70 degrees it's sunny and i was just so ready to just walk out and i actually could if i didn't mind it but you know i'm just so paranoid i don't want people looking at the back of my head like honey do you know what's going on in the back do you know what's going on in the back like honey i know what's going on in the back okay trust me i'm gonna get it figured out but right now leave me alone <laughs> down below i'm gonna link the instagram and i'm gonna link where to buy but i definitely recommend these are some beautiful clippings if you're looking on the market for some curly clippings definitely check these out one thing i don't ever recommend is getting synthetic curly hair extensions because once you shampoo and condition those bad boys they're ruined for life so if you do plan on getting some extensions always make sure that they're human and don't make and, and then not mixed as well you don't want synthetic and human mix either because that's hard to keep up with and it knots up but this doesn't knot up this is super soft i can finger detangle it like it's absolutely gorgeous like i definitely recommend 100 percent but thank you guys so much for watching definitely let me know in the comments below what you think of this her what do you think? And if you end up trying these, let me know in the comments down below as well. Or if you're thinking about trying them, definitely let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Peace.